Hi there, my name is Sine Naylor and I'd like to welcome you to this episode, Creating a Blog. For today's episode, we're going to be using Blogger.com because it's one of the more popular tools out there. It is free to use and they do all the hosting and provide all the templates. Um, so it makes a perfect first time blogger uh, tool. When you go to Blogger.com, you'll be presented with this screen. Obviously, if you already have a Google account or Gmail email account, uh, you can simply log in with this and get started. Um, since we're doing this from scratch and from the beginning, we're going to choose Create Your Blog Now. Okay, very first thing we're going to have to do is let them know about us. We're going to put in an email address. Actually, my one-year-old grandson is going to get his first blog right now. Um, it must already exist because they're going to send you a validation email and you're going to have to click the activation link. Next you're going to need a password and then retype that password. And then how does he want to sign his posts? With his whole name okay boy I'm having trouble reading that this is to prove we're human and gosh I hope I can accept the terms and continue I must have got it right okay your blog has two aspects to it a title and a specific URL address one can be non-unique and one has to be unique now in our case oops in our case we're going to create a title and we're going to give it a name this will be Talon's Rant we're going to need to check to see if Talon's Rant exists already so I'm going to type it there and check the availability Oh, it happens to be available probably because of the spelling of his name uh, remember I said that this part can be non-unique uh, this will be what's displayed at the top of the blog this will be your assigned blog address it'll be http colon slash slash this name dot blogspot dot com everybody clear okay let's continue Okay, when you first come in, you're going to be offered several template choices. Find one that you like and choose that. Well, let's go with this one because it's uh, got several distinct areas, a light colored background for the posts. Yeah, I think I like that one. So we'll continue. Now you're not married to this. Once you um, once you've got your blog started and you're posting, you can of course go back and change your template or make little tweaks to improve the way it looks. Uh, we just need to simply choose one to get started. Okay, so let's start posting. Okay, when you first come in, this is uh, kind of a small word processing window it allows you to put your first post in we'll give it a title and since this is um, his first post my new blog I actually won't put his name here uh, we'll put a title here this will be the post name and will appear at the top of the page okay this area in here it's just like any other word processor where you can start typing your post. Okay, rather than make you sit through all of this, I'm going to cut and paste. I copied this from a... <laughs> From Raven's po from Raven's first post. Okay, 
and then Talon, of course, will need to sign it. Or in your case, you will sign it. Okay, when you've got it all together, do make a note here of the fact that Blogger will automatically save your drafts, and that'll prevent you from losing something if your computer gets shut down before, you, before you've published. Now, with any blog, it, when you post a new article, you're going to want to put labels out here. Specifically in our business, we're, we're trying to attract people who are searching on Google looking for information that we're posting about. Now, obviously, this is a one-year-old talking in a blog, so it's not going to be significant here. But for our purposes, we might do something like network marketing, prospecting, MLM. You get the drift. Okay, when you're happy with this first post and you're happy with your labels, simply click on Publish Post. Now, if you didn't believe it before, I think you can see that blogger.com makes publishing a web log push button publishing. Okay, that's it. We've just created our first blog. It's got a header, it's got our first post. And it's got an area for the archive. Now, these are elements that are set up for you automatically. Every time you make a post, it's going to add another item here. It's going to keep them segregated by month and by year. There's an About Me section, which Talon hasn't completed yet. <laughs> I suppose I ought to do that. Uh, that'll give you an opportunity to say a little bit about yourself and what you're doing, what you hope to accomplish with this blog. There are a couple of things I'd like to change. I'd like to give his heading a little bit of a, a, a description. So I can go over to Customize. We are looking at the template. And then we'll choose Edit on the Header. Okay, this is what the blog is about. The rants and musings of a one-year-old. Okay, I see I have a misspelled word here. Blogger does underline in red when it doesn't recognize a word. Now, sometimes that'll be true and sometimes it won't. Sometimes it's just a word that's not in its dictionary. Okay, if you had a picture that you wanted to include in your profile, you could upload it from your computer here. You would simply choose Browse, go locate your picture online on, on your computer, and you, of course, can pick and choose where it comes from. And then once you say open, it'll fill in right here. And then when you save the changes, your picture will go up to Blogger. Okay, we've successfully made that change. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Talon's rant, the rants and musings of a one-year-old as told by his grandmother. Okay, that's it. Our first post, our blog is created. When you're ready to write your next article, simply click on New Post and keep going. Okay, I hope this has made it clear. We'll cover uh, how to customize it and add things to it in later videos, so do check back. Until then, this is Sine signing off. Have a great day.